What's going on guys? Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I've already started. So what I'm doing is, see all these wood shavings in here? So this has been in here a few months. So, and then I, what I do here from time to time is I'll just dump wood shavings on top and do the deep bedding thing, if y'all have heard of that. So the reason that I'm cleaning it out right now is, is it's time. And if you don't clean it out, you have run the risk of parasites getting in your animals. You want to keep their feet clean, their body clean, and have them a poop-free place as much as possible. And if you let it go too long, it will make you gag. I'm talking about if you, it's not, see, it's not bad in here right now. So even in, and it's hot. So, but if you don't do it, it can really just make you gag and want to vomit and all that because it, if you let it go too long, it would just be terrible. So what I'm doing is scooping all this out. And I'm gonna put this in the tractor bucket like so. And then I'm gonna put it in the compost pile. See all this right here, see? This is nitrogen mixed with carbon. So those two things alone that will make compost. So it needs to be wet. So uh, we'll set it outside in the compost pile. See how this is look a little damp right here. This is where the water runs through and see how it's dry up here. What I did was I put some cement under here. I cleaned it out one day and I just put bags and bags of cement. And uh, see it's wet along the edge. It's not bad though. If, before I'd put the cement in here, it was really terrible. It would just be wet and damp in here. And now not so much. It, it's just, just a little bit. See, I told y'all I was going to put it in a compost pile. There it is. Now, some of it spilled out the top, but that's okay. I put it in there kind of like a volcano. Got it all cleaned out. Got fresh shavings in here. Put fresh shavings in the nesting box. And they are good to go. The only thing I got left is to put the diatomaceous earth down. Now, if you don't know what diatomaceous earth is, it's a, I think it's just crushed seashells, but I'm, the chemical or the mineral component, I'm just not sure. But I know that what it does, it's like on a microscopic level, it's like little bitty razor blades. It won't hurt you. Now, you can eat it if you want to. Might not taste that great, but it ain't gonna hurt you. That's why you can feed it to your animals. But to an insect, it's deadly especially if it's dry. So what it does, it like cuts the outside, like cuts them. If they're walking through diatomaceous earth, it just cuts them on a microscopic level and it makes them dry out and die. So it's kind of a organic way of pesticide, but I put it all in, my, in inside the chicken coop and it helps keep parasites away. That's what I'm doing it for. So you can see where I just spread it all over everywhere. What'll happen is the chickens will come in here and scratch all this up and they'll spread it out for me. So that was just a quick short video and just a reminder, hey, you got to clean up after your animals. If you're going to have them, you have to be responsible for them. We want to keep them fed. We want to keep them watered. We want to keep them warm in the winter and a shady spot in the summer and keep their feet clean, their body clean, and they will be good and productive animals for your homestead. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. God bless.